Yo, what's going on guys? Flames in here and today I'll be doing some technical analysis and also a price prediction on Veracity or VRA. Before we get into it, if you could leave a like, subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out. Also, if you'd like to join my Telegram or Discord in the link in the description, it's just general crypto discussions here and there and I'll also be posting different trades that I make every day. And lastly, if you would like to make up to $250 for free in Bitcoin, just join the block file link in the description as well. Now just sit back and enjoy. Okay, so we're starting off here on trading view and we'll actually move up here really quickly and take a look at BTC. Now, if we do drop back over here to the daily, as you can see, we did actually just come down here and deviate below that 2017 all time high. We actually managed to push the whole way down to $17,800 and now we have started to see a pretty nice bounce. Now even if we drop back over here towards the 4 hour and take a look at this, as you can see we have managed to flip this whole moving average into support. We are also currently above our daily open there but we have actually managed to regain this initial drop that we did have back here and also flip that back to support. Now even if we move over to, is it this chart? Let's go back to the one hour. Okay, it is this one here. So a little bit of a messy chart. And if you did actually watch yesterday's video, I have coded my own bot that will trade for me. It is currently getting a 77% win rate here on the BTC five minute chart with a net profit of around 46%. Now you can check that on the strategy tester as well, 77.78% out of 54 trades, and we've got around 52.34% net profit on this. Now, if we actually do just sort of remove this and clean up the chart, we'll take off the tables on the trades. And if we drop back even over towards the 30 minute chart here, and take a look at these levels that I do have drawn up. So as you can see, we have got a rectangle drawn up here. We have actually managed to regain this level, flip it back to support and push up towards the upper end. Now we did reject off it there this morning, had a slight retracement there, but now we are tackling it again. I did actually go long there earlier. I'm hoping for a breakout and retest and maybe push on a little higher, but we could easily close below this again come back down rejecting off that and these are the sort of levels that I would be looking at for us to hold now you could be laddering your buy orders from around twenty thousand five hundred dollars down towards that previous all-time high you could even mark up this level that we did actually manage to come down to if you do think we will sort of come down and sweep these lows but for an eye on low time frames we do have quite a nice structure of higher highs and higher lows here and as you can see, we are sort of pumping and breaking out of this level. Hopefully that does hold. If not, we may come back down here and you may get some bids filled. But long in the breakout is a good shout. And then if we do come down lower, you should have some spots sitting to buy some cheaper BTC as well as some altcoins. Now we'll move back on over to here and we will take a look at Veracity. We'll do some technical analysis on this and then I will also give you a price prediction as well towards the end. So if we look at this, we'll drop back to the daily here and have a look now, if we take a look at some of our moving averages right now we are currently rejecting off our 180 hold moving average we have actually managed to close above it if we do stay there as you can see we have had a good bit of price action around this level that i did mark up in that previous video now even if we drop back towards the four hour here and zoom in on this a little as you can see i did tell you in that previous video after we came down here and got a nice move up I said that you could be laddering your buy orders down towards this level and as you can see we have had a good bit of price action around that now we could easily come up here reject off these moving averages come back down and you could fill yourself some nice bids that would be giving us a higher low compared to back here and then also a higher high compared to back here now if we do manage to push up towards this 200 sma and that 150 ema we could easily deviate towards the upside and maybe even push up towards this level it realistically does depend on what bitcoin does should be keeping an eye on the traditional markets like indices even gold silver but i would mainly be looking at sort of the nasdaq the s p 500 the dow jones and then also do take a look at the dxy to see if the dollar is pumping because if it is then usually the markets are red and when it is red then the markets are usually green so if it does manage the top out traditional markets do manage the bottom out and we do get to see a nice reversal coming I would say that we could see some absolutely parabolic moves coming out of altcoins and we could easily be breaking through these levels of resistance now i would just be playing it level by level for now as i did say if we do manage to come up here it could be a good short even towards this level here it could be a good call to open a short and if we do manage to come back down towards this level i would be placing some buy orders at around 0.525 cents now if we do manage to come down here break below that get that bearish retest and lose these previous lows that we did make this is a level that I do have marked up to actually DCA into the market. So you could be laddering your buy orders from this level 
all the way down here to around 0.33 cents. Now, as I showed you on BTC, on low time frames, we are looking fairly good. We're creating some higher highs and higher lows. And if that structure does continue to hold, then all coins will start to see a nice bit of volume pumping into them. And we will start to see some nice movement towards the upside. But before we get into that, we'll take a look here at the BTC pair and see where you can actually pick yourself up some with your sats. So if we move over here and take a look at this, in that previous video, I did tell you to have buy orders. Let's see, this is quite annoying. The auto feature doesn't work anymore, so I have to keep scrolling. Okay, so we finally got to where we wanted to be. Uh, we're currently sitting on the four hour right now. And as you can see, we did actually manage to come down here and sweep these lows that we did make there back on the 12th of May. Now, I did tell you to have some buy orders ladded down towards those lows. That's why I did mark that up. And as you can see, we did have a slight deviation to the lower side. And once we managed to break above that, flip that to support, we did actually get a nice sort of 45% move there to the highs. And then the current prices were currently sitting at around 35% up. So congratulations if you did actually manage to take that trade. As you can see, we pushed up towards this resistance, rejected off it a few times there before flipping it to support. Unfortunately, we have broke back below that. So we could be getting a bearish retest off that coming down towards this level, maybe testing that 200 moving average. And if we do manage to lose that, we do have our POC here on the VPBR, which is pretty confident there with that horizontal support that I have marked up there. And then we do have this previous low that we did make. So you could be ladding your buy orders down from around 2,500 sats there down towards around 1,900 sats. Now, if we move back on up here towards our USDT pair, I will now do a price prediction for you all. And as we did in that previous video, I won't be doing a sort of a new all time high price prediction. I'll show you what I mean when we do get here. So having a look at this on the daily, obviously we have actually broke that macro downtrend line, but we didn't really get a significant pump. We did flip it to support there and then we have just sort of moved sideways and slowly bled holding this level of support that I did previously mention. But if we do actually take a fib out here, we'll run it from, we'll even go from this previous high here all the way down there to the low that we did make. And on this fib, our target would be sitting at around this 1.618, just shy of that five cents mark. Now, if we did manage to start sort of getting some bullish momentum here, pushing up towards this level, flipping this to support, then I would say that an impulse move towards five cents would be absolutely insane and you would get yourself some nice gains. Now, I know I usually do run the fib from this previous high down towards that low. Before now, we are currently in a bear market. We don't really know what's going to happen. The economy is absolutely messed up right now. And we do need traditional markets to bottom out and start pushing on up before we do start looking at new all-time highs for altcoins. So if we do manage to push up towards that one level at around 3.1 cents and flip that to support, we would be looking for a move towards this 618. And from current prices, that would actually be around a 710% move there. So that would be absolutely incredible gains. And if we do continue to move up here, you could take a look at this 2.618, which would be around a 1,150% gain if we were able to push up towards that level. But I would say, honestly, if we do manage to push up towards near this previous all-time high, traditional markets probably have bottomed out. BTC is on its way to new all-time highs and then majority of all coins would be. So be careful if we do get to see some nice sort of pumps happening, just do keep an eye on these levels. If we manage to push up here, we could easily get a rejection off that. That would just be a relief rally in a bear market for people to take some profits before we do continue lower. So definitely do be wary of a situation like that playing out. Now, if we do move on over here to coin market cap really quickly, and just take a look at veracity to see some fundamentals here and also the tokenomics. So we are currently sitting at rank number 517. We're obviously at 0.56 cents as we did see there. We're up 0.53% there in the last 24 hours. Our market cap here is sitting at 25.3 million, which is absolutely tiny right now. So there is a lot of multiples to be made to the upside but we could also continue lower. So just keep stop losses tight if you are going long. Now our circulating supply here is 4.47 billion, and that is 43% there of our max supply, which is 10.3 billion. And then we do have a total supply of 19.4 billion. Now, if you are looking to do a small read, you can have a read through coin market caps right up here. Just pause the video to see what this is sort of about. And if you would like to do a little bit more fundamental research, you can move on up here to their website, which is veracity.io. 
over here, you'll find out everything that you need to know to help you make your decision on whether you would actually like to invest in this. And if you do figure that you do actually want to buy yourself some, you can move back on over to CoinMarketCap, click on Markets, and this will show you where you can actually do so. So for Veracity, as I did mention, really does depend on BTC and traditional markets. If we do manage to see a nice strong move off the bottoms there, obviously signal in the end of the bear market, then I would say moves up towards these levels fairly soon is definitely not off the cards and there will be a lot of money to be made. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out.